The next one is Scribomatic. We're going to close this. OK. What this is going to let you do is take your rushes with all your audio and submit the clips that are set to the role dialog or whatever role you want, send all the audio to the cloud, get a audio to text transcribe, and then either put it back into your project as markers so you can search for phrases or build a storyboard directly in our application and then send that back to Final Cut. So I'll show you how that works now. So here we've got a bunch of dialogue. Um, it becomes somebody else's. Just a little you know, once the house back is built. interview situation we filmed in our studio. Now we've also got in this, in this library, we've got music, we've got sound effects, and we've got some clips, which is bad audio because it's the camera audio, not the clean task cam. Film. Like this has all got yes. echoes yes. on it. it sounds so cool. that's not going to process well. So then in that case, now I've got this all sorted. I just say export XML. OK, we'll put this Oh no, Hang on, I need to. Now, the other thing you'll notice is I don't actually have a project created. Because in a lot of cases, you will want to do this transcription and um, put all the markers on it before you start editing. Because you want to be able to just jump to where someone says whatever phrase you're looking for, find those, and then build a rough cut from that. So that's why we're doing it without a project yet. OK, so now I go to export XML. OK, and we'll call that version free to there. Now, you will, hopefully, we want to be able to have this so you can just send to, um, which doesn't work with event XMLs. It does work with project ones. It's something we are talking to Apple about. OK, so now I'm going to launch our Scribematic tool. And we can just drag and drop. Let's drop in the XML. OK, select the dialog, transcribe. Now, what you should see is in real time, as it, there you go, that's much better. We're seeing the transcription come up in that window on the right. And when this is finished, I can just select sentences um, on the right and add them to a storyboard, send that back to Final Cut, and you've got a rough cut with those sentences. <laughs> so I'm going to let this go because I want to actually show you, like, there's actually nine clips. There's a real amount of stuff here. I want to show you this is not just canned to work with two or three clips, you know? So we can show you an uh, actual real example. And I'm making it up as I go in that I'm going to actually just make up the edit on the fly so you know that I'm not actually uh, pulling any tricks with you. OK. Now, also in this application, you can uh, you can actually click over here on the right and correct it if there's mistakes. We are not claiming 100% accuracy. We're not aiming this at um, export of transcriptions or closed captioning or anything at the moment. We're aiming it at text-based search to speed up your workflow in finding the clips you need. And generally, we're finding above 90% accuracy, somewhere about 90 to 95. You do, of course, have to have clean audio, can't be mixed with music, need to be mic'd well, not too echoey. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you record it clean, then you're going to get very good results very quickly. So we'll just let this go a little bit longer. The other things we can do in here is that we can click on the clips, click on a sentence, it will go to that part of the clip, and we can check it against the transcription in our app before we send it back. OK, I think that's almost done, at 94%. Right, there we go. Perfect. So now let's prove that this is actually working. I'm going to select number 12 over here. Uh, and it should say art and design. Art and design and technology. Then it really was specific. OK. So now I'm going to go into. Yeah, just pick a few others at random, and let's say this is number uh, number 15. Open this up. Uh, not until you walk into the door. Buildings and those kinds of things, and that is that until you walk into the door, 
You so he had a little bit of mumbling at the start, so it, it skipped a few words, which oh, you will yeah, find. Then it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hard audience. <laughs> okay, so now let's show you the, the real magic. Let's say, okay, I want art and design and technology, this, this sentence here. I just click the button to add it to the storyboard. Now, at the moment, we don't have moving it around, deleting clips. That's all gonna come before we go in the first commercial version. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to say, OK, I want that uh, art technology. I want this, like, OK, like profession emerging. And I want blowouts. OK, add that. So this is very simple, free cuts. Then just say, export. Send storyboard to Final Cut Pro uh, into, this into this library. Choose. Yep, OK, that error is, again, just a warning that we'll, we'll fix. And where is the, oh, it put it in the wrong library, but that's OK. OK, and now we will see. Art and design and technology, then it really was specifically about architecture. Like I had OK, like proficient, emerging, um, mastering device. So back to this, <laughs> sorry, in my. There you go, it's got the sections we pulled out and just assembled using the choosing the sentences on the timeline. So that's your rough cut done. Then you go through, trim it, add everything else. But that's probably saved how many hours? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I'm going to show you the other method um, of getting the information back to Final Cut now. So let's just go to, uh, let's just delete that from that library. We don't need that anymore. OK. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to send back clips with markers at four second intervals. So let's go back here and just say export. Uh, I want to send transcription to Final Cut Pro uh, into this one. Choose. Uh, let's keep both. OK, so you can see the clips with markers on the right there. Uh, I'm just going to make a new new project because we didn't actually have one, remember, in this library. OK, so now let's just choose all these, put them on the timeline, and go to the index. And you'll see that for, if I go to tags, it's put all the transcription as tags with markers. So that what that means is I can say, OK, I want to search for uh, interacting. And it will jump to not only that clip, but the correct place in the clip. And if I hit play. You know, of monks and people interacting within those temples. Or you make a short film about your experience traveling on a boat in Thailand. So obviously, this is, you know, this is like 0.8 beta or something. We're going to add quite a lot before it's released. Um, but we will be doing. Uh, private beta testing starting next week. So some of you here will be already on that, and we'll be sending it to you. Um, and yeah, we, we also have other ways. Uh, there's another thing we're going to add, which we didn't have time to do for this demo, is that you might prefer, instead of markers, to have it sent back as uh, time ranges with notes attached to each time range, which you can also do. So that's another way. And of course, we'll be adding whatever else methods people want. You can get also a text file out with uh, time code and the transcription. But like I said, we don't say that that's going to be accurate enough for subtitling or anything. Um, and there will be, uh, when we can figure out a way to do it, there will be drag and drop between Final Cut and this application. You, actually, you can do that already with a project. You can drag a project into this. That works. But drag and drop for events does not work, which is something that um, Final Cut needs to add. So I think that kind of wraps it up, and maybe that's something you guys want. Roger, I want it. Thank you. Very, very cool. All right, All right so, so if, if you, you uh, want to learn more about what Lewis